So hello there. Today a uh, video about my Macrinorina polyphemus breeding. Why today? Because uh, in a week there is the Sky Food Convention in uh, Wedenswil, that's near Zurich in Switzerland, where I want to make an exhibition about our food from wood concept, how we can reorganize the decomposing process of wood-based plant materials with the help of mushrooms and with the help of insects afterwards so that while decomposing plant material food uh, quality food for humans will be produced that's our project so and i want to show uh, uh, all to this uh, scientific personnel the larvae and the adults of Macrinorina polyphemus because we think that this is one of the species that can uh, transform plant material into perfect garden soil pre-palletized at one time and on the other time produce animal protein. So here we have some runaways from the boxes that I want to check afterwards. They went out of the, of the boxes um, so I have to, to bring them back so they can uh, pupate afterwards because now they, they seem vital, that's not a problem but I think they have to go to a better place where they have a little bit more food and where they like to be. Macrinorino polyphemus. think this is one of the easiest to rear tropical African species since around three dec decades. It is found in a home breeding project in Europe. They're pretty good also from the size, so they can go to pupation very soon. Let's see how heavy they are, the biggest one here. This is 25 grams. That's a nice size for a Macrinorino polyphemus. Of course, a Macrinorino torquata, they can go up to 40 grams, or even they, they can go up to 30. So now let's see whether we find some adults. I've seen some. Uh, traces of cocoons here. We will try to, yeah, look, here's one typical shape of a cocoon of Macrinorina polyphemus. And here is a pupa inside or the pre pupa caterpillar. I don't know. Yet, so I, I won't open it now at this moment. Then, here I see from outside this is a it's a adult in here. So let's see what it is. And here it is. Oh, look! You see the nice colors shining. So now let's open it very carefully and see what we find. What we find is a nice male. Macrinorina polyphemus. It's one of the beetles, I would say. Breed them if you start breeding beetles because here you will have success and it will be a joy to see how they emerge from the pupil chamber. So here's the box with the adults. I already prepared to big pieces of melons. Here are also some adults already in the box. I think they need also some fresh fruit here so let's take this man here and let's join with him the party. Yeah, this is the skin of the pupa here, and this is the skin of the this is the skin of the larva, and the skin of the pupa. So this is the shell of Macrinorina polyphemus. Let's have now here. It seems like the the larva has escaped from here. So that's typical hole if a larva breaks out. So they, they have pretty good jaws, so I don't expect here to find 
a lot of but just want to see about all these uh, fecal pellets so that we can show how nicely they are pelletized naturally here but let's see whether we find it uh, now here is another pupil chamber with an adult in let's see what is this one I hope for um, a female of course be so then we can go on with the laying process oh, let's see what we have here now this is the chamber and it's a small male too now here she's yeah and it's crawling out here oh, it's a nice color it's green with the little brown touch and the stripes and dots on the on the elytra so also this one let's join the party on the on the melons here It's some material still unused, so I can use this for the other Mexinorina larvae. So that's it. I have a lot of boxes here. I want to check through. Here seems to be nothing. Oh yeah, nothing. That's a nice female. That's, this is Imakuli Kolish. That's really nice. So I will I will wash this little lady here before I show it to you this seems a bit rough but um, it's a good way to clean them and to show them to you in the whole beauty of this insect look how nice she is this is Mecunorino Torquata Immaculicolis and I see that she wants to nibble on some water or fruit seems she's dried out a little bit here so I put some water that she can drink and as you can see in the front of the head she's sucking up the fluid now yes and wants to drink something I just go to bring her some uh, fruit to eat so that she can enjoy the next step in her life that she's an adult now and now we have to find a male so that's one of the urgent things now and first we have to present a, a cage of course with a, a people jelly here it is uh, some of put some material to the ground and then I just put her head next to the beetle jelly here you can see that she can try to drink from the material that is inside the beetle jelly that's mostly sugar and a little protein so we have a female of Torquata Immaculicolis that's very nice and I hope I really hope that we have now in the next few minutes we find also a male to present to her this seems like a damaged pupil chamber so it's a dead pupa in here didn't finish her process quite to the end oh this pupa died here we have to throw it away I think, yeah, this is that. Oh, Next one, there's, there are a lot of them. Look here, also the same hole where the larvae escaped and the very big fecal pellets here. Also, this is a nice sample to show the work of a rose chever with the material he ate mostly uh, dead leaves something like this and here also look at this big fecal pellets oh there's also a fat larvae here we bring her 
quick click to a new box. Let's put it on the weight scale. 27.2 grams. 27.2 grams. That's really big. Okay, also this here. You see how big they get. And that they really make the same, make the whole material to this pellet. Here you see a pupa in the chamber. I don't take her out now here. And here, this is also a pupa at the end of the development. You see that because it already, let's see whether we can go into that. Yeah, it's hard to see, but you can see that it already shines some colors through the through the pupal skin, so this won't last long till the adult comes out. We have some more here also, pupa inside. You see that here? Next here, there's an adult in here. You see the pupal chamber goes from here to here, so let's see what it is. Still hope we find a nice female so we can have a new pair of Mecrinorina polyphemus. Oh no, I think this is not yet out of the skin. It's still a pupa, but it's quite at the end of the development. So, look, if you look here, you think it is already out, but it's not. And you see it in the back, that is, that is the abdomen of the pupa here. So we have to wait, leave it in here, till it comes out itself. And then, I can go we go quickly through the whole bunch of boxes here with Mecrinorina polyphemus. What is in here? Nothing. Something, something escaped from here. I found three larvae that have escaped. I think these are the three boxes where they came out from. And here. Oh, now here's another uh, adult. Look here in the pupil chamber. Still waiting. Go, but let's take it out to see what it is. And this is also a male. So we only have males, you know. That's interesting. So we have only males now. This is the male generation. Huh? Yeah, very young, very freshly came out here. Now they put this man here to the box. Well, so we have around 20 males, but no females. What happened? In here, here's a larva in the pre pupal stage. You can see her whitish down there, the larva still. And next here, this is a pupa in here. And so for this one, here is an adult. I think it's so. So let's see. Now if this is not a female, I don't know what to do. Yeah, let's see what this is. Let's see what it is. Still very, very freshly out of the skin. Yeah, and it's also a male. <laughs> No, this is a really funny day today. We only have males, but they are also very nice. Look at this nice males here. So now the box is empty and we only found some males, but also this is a joy to see how these animals after around nine to ten months uh, when they were laid as eggs come out as nice and beautiful adults. Out of this earth chamber that they made. Uh, thanks for watching.